This time, it should work. Mask it or cast it. Guys, don't you hate it when you're walking around and you see somebody wearing their mask like this? Like, come on, that's not protecting anybody. But for real, you should wear your masks. And I've noticed that some people at my office building forget to wear them. So I wanted to come up with some fun, lighthearted way to prank them and, you know, remind them to wear their masks. So I'm gonna combine in this video my love for computer vision and my love for robotics and make some kind of invention that rewards people when they wear their masks and gives them a mask if they forget to wear it. So let's get started. So when I'm inventing, I like to look around the office, look around the home, you know, see what kind of items I'm working with. It really helps brainstorm. Like these scissors, you know, I could run with these. You know, 1080p webcam, I could use that. I could see myself using this. Guys, don't forget to look through the, the cabinets. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. You know, we've got, uh, we got tape, you know, you could put two and two together with this. You know, pamphlets are not useful. But, uh, you know, oh, look, you know, medical grade face masks. This is great. Check out what else we got here. We got more tape. You can never have enough tape. Cups are not useful. Oh, perfect. I was hoping we'd find one of these industrial grade robot arms. Yeah, this will come in great. So kind of put together your pile and then, you know, let's see what we can do with this. The next step to a successful build is to set up a nice clean work environment. All right, guys, I know how this story goes. Building this should be super easy. Watch this. This usually works. And just like that, we're done. So let me show you what I came up with. On the right side here, we've got the usual sign-in sheet. My office building already has a sign-in sheet. You put your name and phone number. It's there for COVID tracing purposes so that if someone gets COVID, you get a text. Thankfully, we've never had anyone get COVID. But it gives me a great excuse to put a camera here. And this camera scans your face while you're typing your name in. And once it's scanned, this robot over here decides your fate. So if you weren't wearing a mask, you get a free mask. Put it on. And if you were a good old boy, you get free candy. Thank you for wearing a mask. Before we go prank the other people in the building, I'm gonna show you how this works when I am wearing a mask and when I'm not wearing a mask. I can hardly mask my enthusiasm at seeing you. All right, this time without a mask. No mask on your face, you big disgrace, spreading your germs all over the place. All right, here's how this shakes out. That's the old desk with the old sign and sheet. And here I'm gonna put the new desk right next to the door with the uh, mask encouragement machine. Masks are so hot right now. Really? You can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to Reese's. <laughs> Mask not what your country can do for you. Mask what you can do for your country. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video was sponsored by my salary job. I actually work for a startup, Outto.ai, and we make a platform called BrainFrame. BrainFrame is what made this video possible. It's a smart vision video analytics platform. So you get a ton of video sources and you plug them in, you get some AI and you mix it all up and you get real time video analytics. If you're wondering what all this floaty stuff is, that's actually the BrainFrame platform. The purpose of this platform is to make it super easy for developers to make complicated AI solutions without having to worry about the complexities of scaling up. So I actually used BrainFrame in this project and I was able to connect BrainFrame and the robot with just a little bit of Python code in between for detecting the faces and the masks. 
So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you do not like and subscribe. Instead, you can help me out by going to outto.ai and making an account. If you're a developer and you're interested in computer vision or you're interested in getting started with computer vision, BrainFrame is a great choice. And finally, I'm excited to announce this client that I'm inside of is actually open source now as of this week. So check out our source code, make a pull request, nitpick our code, but make something cool.